Good morning, Clay Thompson here at Guarantee RV Center. Today I'm going to show you a very fresh 2018 DRV Mobile Suites 36 RSS B3. Come on inside, let me show you the goodies. This is a very nice, luxurious fifth wheel, probably one of the best ones you'll find. Uh, starting out, uh, the Mobile Suites builds their uh, fifth wheels with a three and a quarter inch wall, thicker than anybody else in the industry. Uh, box tube frame rails, so you got 2x6, double stack 2x12, and a 2x3 on top of that, which makes it a 2x15, so, and that is box tube frame, so um, makes it a very, very strong chassis, again, probably the strongest in the industry. I'm going to show you a few features on this. I'm probably going to leave some out because it's just a quick video, but if you have any questions afterwards, feel free to give me a call. I'll leave my direct line and we can talk about it and see what you want to purchase. But as you pan around on this one, you'll notice this has the new lighter wood in, uh, interior color, full-size slide, cabinetry all above the top, plenty of lights, MCD shades on rollers day and night, insulated dual pane windows, pull-out table with another leaf and two more chairs stored in the closet. Um, one thing you're going to find on this that uh, you don't find in other product is all this furnishing behind the dinette area is all functional. A lot of them that you're going to find uh, will have something like an outdoor entertainment outside. So it's kind of a fake looking cabinet area, but it's all real on this product. All solid wood, residential furnishing. You'll notice plenty of lights uh, throughout. Um, this unit uh, is going to have all the creature features of something that is a home on wheels. Um, notice that the, uh, the couch here, this is going to be a hide -a bed when it folded out. Uh, but by day with couch set up, I got nice little end tables on each side. Space in between if I want to put a magazine rack or a little garbage can or what have you there. Again, overhead lighting, overhead cabinets sometimes for most of us might take a small ladder to reach I'll tell you I've been doing this for 15 years and I've never lost a deal from having too much storage so we pan around we get into the entertainment area nice big flat screen TV again overhead cabinetry um, all pre plumbed and wired for uh, satellite if we want to go that route has the wine guard auto uh, set uh, antenna, Sony's uh, surround sound and, and tuning system, as well as the Sony Blu-ray. Nice little hidden desk area. Folds down, pulls out, so we got a nice little desk area there. All on soft touch uh, closed cabinet hinges. The nice, really good looking fireplace that uh, gives it a nice sex appeal. Uh, does put out heat. It is a radiant heater as well as having the aesthetics of a uh, real fireplace. Storage beside on both sides as well as the other. Nice big appliance garage over here. This does come with the Voyager backup camera and observation system. But there is a plug-in up underneath there as well, so if we got a toaster, coffee maker, uh, it can just sit right there, already plugged in, just got to pull it out, use it, push it back in, forget it. Nice big backlit cabinetry, adjustable shelving, glass inlay, very, very nice. Look at the hinge work on this. You don't even find those kind of hinges in most houses very good upscale quality. I'm going to probably say that a whole bunch of times but I want to get the point across. Clear-cut plywood, nice drawers again on the uh, auto soft touch closed drawers. We got a little divider built in with the clear-cut plywood for our plates, uh, glasses, silverware, however we want to put things away. Nice big drawers, solid. Nice big island in this floor plan has the big new and improved stainless double sink big on this side rinse sink over here uh, adjustable faucet spray nozzle with uh, removable covers 
onboard dishwasher, drawer below, cabinets underneath the sink that will open up here, garbage area, nice easy pull out, out of sight, out of mind, drawers again, nice little pantry area or cabinets in there. Notice this really good looking new Furion oven and cooktop. Just like residential with the glass see-through with three adjustable shelvings. This is what I call the griddle cooktop. It's three burners, um, but as we all know, cast iron, everything's going to heat with an even temperature. So when we fire that up, if we want to put a griddle on there or one, two, or three pans, it'll handle it. Solid inlay for the backsplash, not a, uh, a, a, a fake looking uh, paper. Convection microwave. More lights throughout, cabinetries again throughout. Residential Whirlpool refrigerator. That runs its own dedicated in this model. It's on its own dedicated uh, uh, inverter to keep it fully functional while we're traveling. Uh, cabinets above, cabinets beside, throughout. More adjustable shelving. Really nice looking new interior color for those of you that don't like the dark wood. This is a really good looking color. More adjustable shelving. I want us to look at the new uh, 3D look on the over kitchen overhead lighting. Very, very nice. The inlay on the uh, front of the island. Again, um, I just challenge anybody to find something this nice for the price range. Uh, very, very nice. And then when we walk in here, we got our control panels here. Um, has the power control system. This one has the optional uh, Wi-Fi Ranger on it. Um, this is going to be a full body paint unit. I can show you outside, or excuse me, a partial paint. I'll show you what I'm talking about when we go outside. This one's going to have the 12 volt tank heaters as well as the furnace blowing heat around the tanks when the furnace is on. Central vac system and an easy access for our fuse and breaker panels. Come on upstairs, let me show you the neat stuff. Real solid folding slide out door, glass inlay. Very, very nice. Nice, big, spacious bathroom. Porcelain toilet. It's got its own ducted heat and air conditioning in the bathroom, so if the door is closed, we still got heat and or AC. Nice, big faucet area. It's a, it's a big, a solid surface area there. Fantastic fan in the bathroom. Cabinetry in the bathroom. Nice big shower with skylight. Little toe kick lighting and if we got to get up in the middle of the night we can have the lights on on the floor instead of on the ceiling and wake everybody up. Padded ceiling, standard. Nice, nice solid door through there. Um, bifold cabinetry for a full size uh, res uh, uh, side by side or we could put a stack in if needed. Or if no washer and dryer makes a nice big extra closet. Cabinets throughout in the bedroom. This has got the vanity slide. So we got the drawers here. We got six of them. Nice uh, countertop area. TV. More cabinets. More lights. King size bed that's walk around closet that's lit, cedar lined with our little shoe racks. So we come around inside here, it's got the uh, onboard built-in safe, nice uh, uh, hanger racks that are removable if need be, one, two, three of them. And then over here we see the two extra drawers, little countertop and plug-in in the closet. Again, that's probably the nicest closet you're going to find in a fifth wheel towable in today's world. Uh, cabinets above, individual lighting, individual plug-ins. 
USB next to the bed, surround sound through into the bedroom as well. Come on outside, I'll show you the, some features outside. This has got the aluminum steps. Could have an option of a power step if need be, but this one does not have. So what I was talking about, about the exterior, it looks like a full body paint, but the color here in the cream is a gel coat. This is all paint. And believe me, when you rub your hands across this, it's super smooth. You don't feel the difference between the colors because they clear coat over the whole thing. So it's a full clear coated coach, as well as having the big patio awnings with the uh, aluminum guards over help uh, keep our awnings in better shape throughout the, the term of its life, as well as having one out off the slide out. Big, huge basement. This one has the pull out tray. So I'm gonna show you here. We have the furnace unit here, which is something that nobody else does. Got the furnace down below. Notice the uh, ducting coming off of how they modified with larger ducts going for the farther distance, smaller ducting for the closer distance. So we have equal thermal throughout the whole unit. We don't have cold spots, so it helps eliminate that. Notice the thickness here of the baggage door. We come around front. This one has a gen prep box. We could put onboard gen if need be. More ride pin box, standard on these. Very nice, real elegant color. I really like the color on this. Just looks ritzy. Everything's LED lights. We got our battery box inside here that's on a pull-out tray along with our hydraulic fluids and manifolds. Large 10 gallon propane tanks on pull-out tray, easy to access. It's got the uh, slam latch, luggage doors, latches. Um, and so on this side, what I'd like to show you, that again, you hard to find in an RV, full house filtration system, copper manifold system uh, throughout the whole coach. Uh, call me, I can explain that and how that's a great benefit to everybody, but something that, you know, most houses don't have, the auto leveling system up underneath here. Large gas and electric hot water heater. Large slide out here that's going to be the kitchen and the entertainment. Then we got the uh, um, the large 17.5 um, tires that are H rated. Uh, we have disc brakes and more ride suspension with the disc brake system as well as the independent suspension. Um, again, hard pressed to find on another towable out there. These guys, uh, they don't uh, hesitate on uh, putting the top of the line stuff in it to make your fifth wheel tow and pull better than anything else out there or the convenient features if we're just sitting and use it as our home on wheels in a park um, can go either way. Obviously large 50 amp service with a uh, electric cord reel push the button helps wind that cord up. I noted the uh, frameless insulated dual pane windows. The front and rear one piece end cap, backup camera, large uh, drain gutters for the rain coming off so it doesn't uh, drain down the side of your coach. This one has the uh, two by two receiver hitch, pre-wired and set up, backup camera. Um, come on up here. Again, my name's Clay Thompson with Guarantee RV Center here in Junction City, Oregon. You can reach me direct at 541-979-1770. I've been in the business here for over 15 years and I'm here to help and assist in any way possible. Feel free to give me a call. Thank you and have a great day.